Now, on the eve of the big fight weigh-in, Carl Frampton came face-to-face -face with the man who wants to take his IBF world title at the Odyssey Arena on Saturday. Ruth Gorman reports. He doesn't want to bet his money because he knows he's going to lose it. Yeah, that's understandable. Every, every time I've seen you, have been wearing that coat, so I wouldn't like to take that money off you. It's OK. The gloves were off at today's final press conference. Frampton's opponent, Chris Avalos, still confident he's going back to America with the IBF belt. As far as information, I'm going to win. Now I'm going to take the belt home. I ain't come all the way out here to lose. So. He's been saying I can't punch, but um, it's like he's trying to make himself believe that. Um, but he'll find out on Saturday night that all about it, and he'll know that, that I'm the hardest puncher that he's ever been in with. The arrogance that bubbles over, and and, um, and he doesn't seem to have any respect for Carl, which annoys me because Carl has earned his respect. Frampton can't wait to get a look into Avalos's eyes for the first time at tomorrow's weigh-in. You know then if someone's really up for it or not, and I'll be able to tell a lot from the way in. And uh, I'm expecting a bit of chat from him, maybe a bit of the usual, just talk, drivel. Um, he had his mum here backing him up, who was very vocal as well today, so I didn't, I didn't need my mum to, to back me up, but um, I'm excited about that, I'm excited about the way in. The eagerly anticipated way in takes place in the Europa Hotel at 12 noon tomorrow with all welcome. Ruth Gorman, UTV Live. But first to the big fight. Carl Frampton and Chris Avalos came face to face today in Belfast ahead of Saturday's showdown at the Odyssey Arena. Frampton is making a first defence of his IBF super bantamweight title, as Thomas Kane reports. He might be putting his world title on the line, but Carl Frampton looked as relaxed as ever before the verbal sparring started. Who's had the silver spoon? I've, I've, I've had a silver spoon. <laughs> I'm from the ghetto, <laughs> man. I'm from TV, man. That's the ghetto. Coming in here, knowing that he was going to say silly things, and uh, and he did. So I already had it in my head. Just laugh at him. Um, he seemed to be a lot more agitated than he was before. Um, and I think that it's a fact to make the weight. I think he's struggling to make 122 pounds. And uh, that may have a big part to play on Saturday night as well. So it kind of like shows to me that, you know, it's, I'm kind of getting to him. I mean, but that's not really my game plan to get to him. But I mean, if, it's, if I'm getting to him, hey, more to me then. He can certainly talk the talk. We'll find out in the ring if he can walk the walk. Thomas Kane, BBC Newsline. We certainly will. And there